Um, power units such as the one I, I have on display here um, are used in conjunction with mass and amplifiers to amplify areas, aerials in poor reception areas. They can use, be used in conjunction with either a UHF, VHF massive amplifier or a straightforward UHF amplifier. Or a, there's a, a whole variety of other ones as well, but they are the two that you'll find most commonly used. Okay, you can see there's two ports on this um, um, uh, power unit. One port is the one that um, has an in cable that's being fed directly from the aerial, and an out port which would be fed either through a splitter to feed multiple televisions or directly into another television. Um, so in this case here, um, the first thing that we will do is we will take a cable that's coming uh, either directly or indirectly from the power unit, or from the mass and amplifier underneath the area, and we will connect this um, cable um, uh, to, the, uh, to the power unit via an F-type connector. Now there's other types of power units that use a satellite clap me mechanism, but I would say in general it's preferable to use a power unit. Now there's two possible locations that a power unit can be kept at. Uh, the first is in the attic, which in many ways is preferable, but it requires that the customer has a power unit, or a, a power socket in the attic, which is not always the case. And if this isn't an option, you can actually use the power unit um, in, the, in the living room. Uh, behind the television and power the mass and amplifier directly from that point. Now the one proviso is that you will not have any face plates or any um, type of uh, connection in between that is incapable of carrying um, power. Um, and basically this would exclude most face plates and also um, coax connectors with uh, coax joiners because these are very, very poor conductors of electrical signal. Um, so apart from the power unit here, we need um, a slips as the only tool requirement, and we'll also have uh, two F-type connectors. The first F-connector goes onto a cable that I'm not repairing down now. Uh, we twist it on in a clockwise manner until the foam at the bottom is um, level with the base of the UHF or of the F-type connector, and then we use the snips to cut um, off excess. Um, central cable, so about 2 millimeters is left prominent above the top of the UHF connector. What we do next is we screw this into the power unit and we do it in the following manner. This power unit here is a 12 volt power unit. Um, mass and amplifiers and power units will generally use either 12 volt or 24 volt. Um, so that's the actual power unit um, um, wired up. And the next section is to repeat what we've done before. Uh, except in this situation, what we will use is we will use a cable. I have one here that I made at an earlier date. Um, and it consists of um, a coax connector on one end and an F-type connector on the other end. So I'll attach this new F-type connector onto this end. And what this will allow is, it will allow the power unit um, to feed directly into a television. Um, so the procedure would be, once this F connector has been attached and put on, um, we'd be in a position then, as long as the far end of the cable was connected into the area of the master amplifier, we'd be in a position then to actually plug in the television, plug the power unit into the wall, connect it to the television, and we should then be able to um, connect um, the television or tune in the television to the area. So um, this is it. The set connector is put on in a similar manner. The excess core cable is cut off, and then we come along and we uh, screw on this F connector. We just turn the outside of the top part of the F connector repeatedly until it screws into position. Uh, and that's basically it. Um, so that's a power unit fully assembled from start to finish. And just to recap, it's used in conjunction with uh, a master amplifier and a power unit. If a splitter is to be used in between, it must be a uh, uh, a power passing uh, type and it must only be capable of passing power on one leg. Okay, that's it.